When you think of frontline healthcare workers during a pandemic, doctors and nurses will undoubtedly come to mind. But a COVID-19 patient on a ventilator needs a respiratory therapist. From a premature infant with underdeveloped lungs to an older patient with pulmonary disease, respiratory therapists help people breathe easier. The Department of Cardiopulmonary Science at LSU Health Sciences Center in New Orleans has been educating students in respiratory therapy since 1978. It is our goal to graduate therapists who are knowledgeable, compassionate, and able to think critically. What is distinctive about our program is that graduates receive a Bachelor of Science degree in cardiopulmonary science, and about one-third of the curriculum is taken with cardiovascular sonography students. In the majority of shared classes, there is a cardiopulmonary emphasis in classes such as anatomy, which involves dissection of human cadavers, physiology, pathophysiology, patient assessment, and pharmacology. Because our respiratory therapy program is located in the Health Sciences Center with six schools and 19 academic programs within a relatively large metropolitan area, we have resources available to us that other programs may not have. This includes preclinical training in labs with advanced technology involving hands-on learning in a controlled, safe simulation environment. In addition, students engage in non-invasive diagnostic testing using a complete pulmonary function laboratory. The ability to learn alongside students from other programs and schools in the Health Sciences Center truly enriches the educational experience. Our students learn to assess and manage difficult airways with nurse anesthesia students and faculty. They also participate in small-scale simulation enhanced interprofessional education or IPE with the schools of medicine and nursing. One example is high-risk delivery of the neonate. A much larger two-year longitudinal course in IPE involving all schools within the Health Sciences Center allows our students to better understand the roles of other health professions and improve teamwork in the care of patients. Our students receive about 1,000 hours of diverse clinical training over five semesters. They gain clinical skills with challenging patient populations in both hospital and outpatient assignments. Within the New Orleans metropolitan area alone, we have 11 clinical sites affiliated with our program. Another advantage of our program is that we're relatively small, with about five students or less for each faculty member. This allows students to develop a comfortable learning relationship with each other and with a dedicated faculty who have over 100 combined years of clinical and teaching experience. At LSU Health New Orleans, I've met a lot of like-minded individuals who are people who are driven, people who want to continue getting their education, people who want to help others. Their classes are challenging, but the teachers make themselves available at all times of the day, and they are very passionate about what they do and want to see you succeed. During a forced inspiration, as opposed to a normal inspiration, there is a greater decrease in the intrapleural pressure. This is a heated wire circuit, so it maintains temperature throughout, which reduces the condensation, and you have a temperature problem. Pull it between your fingers, so you have control of it here at the bottom. So when you take it out, you can quickly wrap it up. You can go ahead and give your two quick breaths. I truly appreciate this program because of the way the faculty invests in our professional futures. I have an excellent foundation with a wide array of clinical experiences, such as adult, pediatric, and neonatal intensive care, hyperbaric therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation, and more. Graduating from the Respiratory Therapy Program at LSU Health Sciences Center New Orleans has allowed me to experience a sense of purpose that I never knew was possible. As a neonatal pediatric flight respiratory therapist, I get to make a difference in the lives of others on a daily basis. With my degree in cardiopulmonary science from LSU, the sky is the limit.